Hey, good day. Hope everything's going well for you today. We're just a few days from Christmas, so let me just start by saying first and foremost, Merry Christmas. Favorite time of the year for me, for my household, is this Christmas season. We celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Luke, for unto you a Savior is born. I know sometimes we can just read that over like another story, almost as we're reading some kind of uh, fiction or Grimm's fairy tales, but it isn't a fairy tale. A Savior was born unto us. Think about that just for a moment. I mean, even his name, Jesus, comes from the Old Testament Yeshua, which means salvation and Savior. So but even in the very name of Jesus, we have presented to us salvation. The greatest gift mankind has ever known throughout all humanity and all of eternity is the fact that you can come to know God you needed a Savior. We all need a Savior. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. Hey, listen, every one of us, I don't care who you are, how righteous you think you might be, we have all fallen short of God's glory. And the only thing that's ever going to bring us up to a relationship with Him is His Son, Jesus Christ. I hope you know Him. No better way to celebrate Christmas than to that it gets beyond the religious and gets to the relationship that you have a real, genuine vibrant personal relationship with Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Man, you can't, you just can't say enough about it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. I mean, think about that. We get so, we get so preoccupied with the toys and the gadgets and the technology of the day, and we get amazed by it. If you want to be amazed by something, think about the fact that God becomes a man and gives himself on a cross as a sacrifice for you and for your sins and not for yours only, but for the whole world. It doesn't get any more fabulous, more magnificent, and more awesome than that. So I, I pray you remember that this Christmas. I pray you you take the opportunity when it comes time for family to gather around the, the dinner table or the Christmas tree to take a moment and just remind them that Christmas is about God's answer to give man hope for salvation and hope for knowing him for all eternity and that Jesus born in that manger is the God man the man God the Lord of glory who would ultimately give himself on the cross for all of us and take upon my sin and your sin and bear that for us as a sacrifice making us righteous making us right with God when we trust him as our Lord and Savior Listen, that's the greatest gift of all humanity. I pray that you remember that. I want to invite you uh, uh, to our Christmas Eve service. If you're watching online, you can watch. We're just going to do one live streaming, but you can watch it on Facebook at any time. We'll upload it to YouTube quickly. But it will be uh, our, our 530 on Facebook at bfchurch.txt. That's our Facebook address. So uh, most of you are familiar with it, but just tune in at 530. And hopefully you'll be there in the live service. We're doing everything we can to practice all the CDC guidelines and would love to have you in the world worship service. Uh, we encourage people to wear a mask. We don't mandate it. When you come in and have a seat, most people remove their mask because we're so far apart and the aisles are so well separated and the families are setting apart. So we have plenty of room at both locations. We'll be doing a candlelight service. We have some great, great music for our, by our ministry team and musicians. God really bless Believers Fellowship with some fantastic uh, uh, artists and players. And so they're going to be worshiping the Lord and lead us in worship, singing great celebration songs of Christmas. You don't want to miss that. So 530 for the live service uh, and also 5 30 at the magnolia campus and then 7 p.m if you can't make that come over to the spring campus be there celebrate christmas with us uh, and bring your family you'll be glad that you did it you just one of the most great things that we do and one of the traditions we ought to always hold is reminding that that everyone in our circle of influence that christ is the reason for Christmas, and Christmas is the reason for Christ. So come be a part of that service. It's not a lengthy service, but it'll be a service that you uh, will redeem the time well, and I think you'll fully enjoy it. Also, we have, we at this time of the year, we always have, always have our Christmas mission offering. Our church does a lot locally. 90% of our budget goes into local state missions. Within that budget, we have another budget, the line that, that gives to the International Mission Board and cooperative programs and supports state mission, international missions, seminary, Bible colleges, all that goes and support in that. But at Christmas, we do something to impact our world on a, on, a, on a real personal level through our fellowship. Every year we do conferences, sometimes there's crusades, but it's ministry overseas and much of it's in nearby countries. In the past, it's been in Eastern Europe. So we've done a lot of ministry in different places as the Lord opens the door. So we take a special Christmas offering just for that, that, that ministry. Our goal, our mission, our vision statement is pretty simple. We love God. We love people. 
and we reach the world. So we want to be faithful to the great command, not only to do all the ministry we can within the, the Jerusalem, so to say, as Jesus said, take the gospel into Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria, the other parts of the world. Uh, we want to also do our parts in Samaria and the other parts of the world. So our Christmas offering is targeted really in that kind of ministry of discipleship and evangelism for other parts of the world. So uh, be a part of that. It's, it's a special time. It's a special gift that's used throughout the year in ministry. A lot of it goes into uh, discipleship. A lot of it goes into evangelism and church development, pastoral development. So I just pray you'll pray about what the Lord would have you do. You can send that and give it online even to at the rbfchurch.com website. Just go to the, the tab at the top for giving. But let me just say from Kathy and I and from the whole church, the staff, and everyone at Believers Fellowship, we pray that you have the merriest of all Christmases, and you'll join us even for our Christmas service, whether it's live stream or in person. I look forward to seeing you there. God bless you. It's going to be an awesome time. Come join us.